Welcome to Medicine in a Nutshell's OSCE Guide to Successful Examinations and Patient Case Study Presentations. So, to gain the most out of your examination, you need to think of a few key things. 1. What is the differential diagnosis? 2. What are the clinical signs that you're looking for? 3. What are the complications of the disease? And what are the complications of the treatment of the disease that you can look for on examination? To demonstrate you understand the process of your examination, it's often wise to state what you are doing, what you expect to find, and then what you have found. This approach shows you're a thinker, rather than just repeating a list of conditions and signs which you've learned and aren't related to the case. For example, Mr Jones has a prosthetic heart valve. I'm therefore inspecting for a midline stenotomy scar. I will also look for signs of bruising on the skin as he will be anticoagulated. I will also look for signs of infection as prosthetic heart valves are liable to infection. Presenting a case. When presenting history, you want to give an in a nutshell summary. Don't simply list everything you found in the order you found it. A useful format to follow is to state firstly the background of the case, secondly, Give your impression. Thirdly, give the important positive and negative features which support your impression. Four, give the differential diagnoses. And five, summarise your case. Give an executive summary in one sentence. Example case. Mr Jones is an 86 year old retired plumber. He's presented with shorts of breath on a background of heart failure and hypertension. On examination, my impression was he was clinically in decompensated heart failure. He was edematous peripherally. He had a raised JVP. Fine creps were heard on both lung bases and he was short of breath on minimal exertion. His heart rate was 64 beats per minute and his blood pressure was 133 over 88. He's showing no signs of a systemic or respiratory infection. He is apyrexial and his ECG was normal. There are no heart murmurs and he's saturating at 100% on 2 litres of oxygen via nasal cannula. Important differential diagnosis to consider would be a chest infection and a PE. When listing differential diagnosis, it's important to start with things which are most likely and move on to things which are less likely. It is important to show you considering things in a logical order. In summary, Mr Jones has an acute heart failure. Here is a good time to give you management options. Stay what you've done already, for example an ECG and starting on oxygen, and then say what you'd like to do, for example referring to cardiology and starting on diuretic therapy. Thank you and good luck in your exams. If you found this video useful, Please like and subscribe to our channel.